Hello, I'm Alex, and welcome to the English Aeneo, looking into what people say in English and why they say it. Of course, we know that all words are made up at some point, but it's usually more organic, natural, and most of the time logical. Although anyone who's been studying English will probably disagree with that last part. As we grow up and learn our own language, we generally just mimic others and regurgitate what those around us say, a bit like a parrot. In English, for instance, we just accept it when people say "turn on the light" or "hang up the phone," even though we don't actually turn or hang anything, not anymore, at least. More on the origin of these words in another video. Well, this is why I like to dig a little deeper, especially when I come across words that are so commonplace that we sometimes forget about where they come from. Today, we're going to examine a word which we come across probably every single day, and that is bored. No, not bored, but bored. You just wouldn't believe how many words and expressions contain this word. So let's start with where the word comes from and what it actually is. It's of Germanic origin and describes a long rectangular piece of wood. It was used primarily to describe the long wooden planks that boats and ships would be made from. Therefore, to get on a ship was to board it. Whether using a board to walk up or to swing across from another ship, like pirates. If someone falls off a ship, we say the person has fallen overboard. This was also because the board was the name for the side or the higher side of the ship. We also have the expression to go overboard, which means that someone has done something excessive or extreme. Like if your mum prepares an enormous buffet of food for just five people, the term "to board" would later be adopted for trains, planes, and other vehicles.、Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We apologise for the delay, but we had to find another pilot who wasn't drunk, and、uh, we would like to assure you that the airplane can fly perfectly well with just one engine. Anyway, flight six 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 to Utopia is now boarding. Please make sure you present your boarding pass together with your last will and testament and your donor card. Thank you very much. Have a nice flight. In sports, a number of sports feature boards. The idea is that these objects are of a similar shape to a board. There's snowboard, surfboard, kiteboard, bodyboard, skateboard, wakeboard, and paddleboard. In basketball, there is the backboard, the one that you hit before it goes in the net. In arenas and stadiums, you can see the current state of whatever game you're watching on scoreboards. Gymnasts use springboards to gain extra height or to jump over things. You can see that I'm not a gymnastics expert. We also throw spiky objects at a board and call it a dartboard. In music and electronics, the music industry uses boards as well. This is a keyboard. A soundboard, often called a mixer, is used by sound engineers to produce the best sound when a song is being recorded. The electronics and computing industry have a lot of use for boards. There are circuit boards, motherboards, soundboards, and video boards, among many others. In the house, the word board was. Often used to describe a table, as the early ones were made of boards. 
it then changed a little to refer to food served on the table. So when you stay in a guest house, you might pay for room and board. In fact, schools where you would study, sleep and eat are called boarding schools. Traditional houses have them on the floors as well, and we call them floorboards. In a similar way, there are these kinds of planks of wood used for people to walk on along the seafront, and then they don't get their shoes full of sand, and these are called boardwalks. A sideboard, also known as a buffet, is a kind of table traditionally kept at the side of the room on which food would be laid for people to serve themselves. A headboard is part of a bed, and it stops you hitting your head on the wall. Other kinds of furniture around the house might include a cupboard, which we pronounce cupboard, not cup board. Originally, this was probably just a shelf or two on a wall, which was then enclosed with sides and a door. A splashboard in the kitchen is usually behind the sink to prevent liquids from hitting the walls. These are often made of tiles or glass. For all those recently divorced men who didn't used to help around the house much, let me introduce you to the ironing board, where your wrinkled clothes became miraculously pressed. In business, schools and government. Teachers use blackboards, whiteboards and e-boards. Schools, parks and offices have notice boards or post boards. Whenever you have a group of people, particularly those in authority, sitting down to make decisions over another group, we often call these a board. Perhaps that's because they would sit around a long rectangular table. So you have the school board, a medical board, the board of directors, an advisory board, or the board of governors of a school or a college. Something or someone is considered above board when they are trustworthy and honest. This probably comes from when people would play cards and gambling, and they had to keep their hand above the table to show that they are playing fairly and not cheating. In cards. The dashboard in cards is filled with all kinds of instruments, switches and buttons to display speed, revolutions, fuel levels, etc. We use this same term to describe a screen image on a computer platform or page displaying an overview of the general indicators, like the YouTube dashboard. In TV and movies. Filmmakers use storyboards to lay out the plot of the story, while directors use clapperboards to be able to identify their shots. Then they advertise these films on billboards. I can go on if you like, it's getting a bit tiring, but okay. Have you had enough? Well, you get the picture. There are simply loads of examples. So please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when new content is posted. Well, that's enough from me. If you have anything to say or something you want to clear up, don't forget to put a little message in the message board. Our boards! Well, I'll leave you with a medley of quick explanations for other words. Across the board. This means to affect everyone, everywhere, at every level. Starboard. This is the right side of the ship. Cardboard. This is what boxes are made from. Cutting board. What we prepare meat and vegetables on. Cheese board. A presentation of different cheeses on a board. Plasterboard. This is another word for drywall for making walls. On board, to be on a plane, train or boat. Is there a doctor on board? To get on board means to agree or to support something. Boardroom, 
where the directors of a company meet. Stiff as a board, meaning inflexible. Back to the drawing board. Start right from the beginning, from scratch. Baby on board. This is used to warn other drivers to be aware of a baby passenger. Board games. Games like Monopoly or War or Clue that you play on a board. Board up. To put protective boards on windows when there is a hurricane coming. Diving board. A long board that you can jump from at a swimming pool. Well, thanks for coming along on this journey and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye, have fun.